Hey guys, in this part, I am gonna show you the button classes from Bootstrap. So this is our basic HTML template, and we have the style sheet CDN for Bootstrap. Okay, so first take a look about what will be the button. If we add HTML button, then let's say what save. Okay then view in browser you can see that we have a button say but it doesn't have any styles okay so first of all i want to show you the button sizes okay so how can we add those sizes always we have to add the class let's say i want to so I want to display this button as a you know what button large large size okay so then let's say this is large button similarly we have another let's say medium medium button so it should be md and this is a small button and we have another size which is oops md sm what okay excess extra small size okay extra small this is a small button this is medium okay and let's see yep so we have our different types of buttons large button medium button a small size button but I forget to add one more class which is button Oops. so you have to add the button first okay then let's see yes so this is our buttons different types of buttons large button medium button a small button extra small button okay so this is one thing another one is block label button block block label means it will contain it will hold the whole block for example i'm keeping these buttons what okay so for that block level button we need to add one thing which is button block so i can add those in every buttons then let's see You can see that it is contain the whole it is occupied the whole deep okay so these are our buttons so how can we reduce it for example I have a deep classes MD or say four oops Okay, so what can we do? Oops, <laughs> it should not be here, it should be here. Okay, so then let's see. Yep, it is contained only the part four column. That means it is occupied the whole division. For this, it is inside of a column 4 that's why 
this is the size of this button and we have some other um, classes like button primary which is you can use or say button primary okay so we can add in everywhere and we can see the effect yep so this is the button this is the button primary and we can create active button and disable button so let's create some other button let's say oops. i have one more button type button plus button plus button primary and active okay so this is let's say save button and I have another button which is also button button primary and disabled okay let's say cancel so we can run it and I can see yep we have save button and cancel button you can see that cancel button is not active I mean disactive actually it's a deactive okay so we can even you know if you need to deactive your button or disable your button you can easily just you have to attach or you have to add the disabled class that's it and once you have the disabled class and if you want to remove that one and you want to add you want to make it active only you need to attach or add the active class now let's go for some other types of button so if we have a button um what button type button then class must be button and what button let's say default okay so this is a default button and let's create another button type also button class must be button and this is button what let's say button primary which you have already seen that button primary okay but for the demo purpose I'm just showing you again hmm then what if you need to display some you know success type button you can use button success button success similarly we have two more types one is button plus button mm, what danger okay and one more button this is not a button but if you add a class it will change the type then it it look I mean it will look like what link button link 
okay let's see yep so what can we do we can add some line break this is the default button okay and this is the primary button and this is the success button this is a danger button for example if you want to add a button like delete on the time you can use this one delete button okay and if you have a link you know on the time you can use the link button link even we have two more types of button button type button classes button info one is info another one is um, what warning you can add those buttons in the warning message see yep this is info button this is warning button okay and one more thing you don't need to have all the button types even you can create oops, some anchor tape let's say okay then what let's say link button okay it's just link so if you add a class button then what will be the now it is changing okay now i want to see this is as button primary then you can see that this becomes a button right so if you add that button as you know what success now it is a success button okay so even we can add those classes in the attack this is another advantage because those are basically class it will be implemented in you know wherever you are adding if it is a button or attack that's all i have for you guys in this video so don't forget to subscribe please feel free to leave a comment like and share this video it's really gonna help my channel grow and I will see you guys next time.